Hey guys, Science1324 here, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update of what I've been working on and stuff like that, because I know I don't put up uh, a ton of videos, so I just wanted to put another one up. So, I've got a few new, few new toys that I'll show you really quick. Um, this is actually a security camera. It's got a zoom on it, and I can move it back and forth. And it's got a stepper motor on it, and I was hoping I could control it with the built-in soft or built-in electronics. But unfortunately, it uses a VISCA, and the control stuff for those are very expensive. And so I'm going to be probably taking the camera part off and repurposing it and building my own control software or hardware for this for the uh, stepper motors on here. But it's kind of fun to play with though. I mean, you can plug it, like, if I plug it in, it moves on its own, but I don't have a controller for it, so I'm going to have to come up with something else. Um, yes, this is a Peltier cell. I've got a better setup over right here, hiding under all this stuff. Um, and I was using it to condense water out of the air, because there was, it rained, oh, it was just another, a couple days ago, and, uh, I started condensing water out of the air in my room here. Um, as you and I've got these out of CD drives. I'm actually got some parts on the way. I've got an Arduino and some uh, stepper motor drivers coming. I'm going to turn this so this goes like that into a uh, a laser engraver. I need some more hardware. Obviously, I just barely started on it today and got some parts for it. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. Uh, I've got the lenses out of them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet, but I don't know. Let's figure something out here. Sure, there'll be something fun to do with those. Whoops, I just stuck those together. Um, what other toys did I get? Um, okay, well, we'll just skip that. So this is what's known as a luminoscope. Basically, what it does is it produces x-rays, shoots them into soil samples to see what kind of rare trace minerals are in there. However, um, the part that you put the dirt in was ruined on it. But this part works, like this whole thing, like the main power, and then high voltage, the gauges, um, the I blew one of the fuses out so that it's not going to move with the thing, but um, there's that. This is a vacuum gauge, so I've actually got a vacuum thing, it's down here. I'm going to hook this up to my vacuum chamber so I know what the pressure is. And then I can control the amount of voltage going into it. This goes up to about 15 to 25 kilovolts uh, in that range. So, um, and this part is actually the part that produces the x-rays. Which I still, I'm going to keep it just for fun. I'm not going to play with x-rays too much because that's not exactly safe. But, if I ever wanted to just see, see what I can do with them, I've got that part. So... Yeah, that's my new toy, and it's so much fun to push these buttons. I mean, it's like, prepare for power, turn up voltage, makes you feel like a mad scientist. Just saying. Um, and then, of course, I got my uh, oscilloscope and my function generator. I got some new probes for my oscilloscope, so I've got three probes now instead of just this black one that I was using for that for my function generator and my uh, voltmeter or voltmeter, my oscilloscope. And then I got this. This was actually at a thrift store, and it's from the electrical engineering department of the school I'm attending right now, actually. And they had it at the thrift store for five bucks. And this, well, it's still, it's a vacuum tube uh, thing, so it's old, but it still works. Gotta give it a second once those vacuum tubes warm up. There it goes. I can hold my freaking camera still here, geez. Um, but yeah, it's a microvolt slash microamp um, uh, meter. Uh, I need to figure out a probe for this. I might just take this part out and put another thing in, though. Uh, but it does work. It really doesn't take like take much to produce no volts. Like I can just stick a wire in there and grab it, and that that gauge will jump. So, but that's pretty fun. I played with that a little bit. Um, but, yeah. 
I mean, that's just kind of what I've got so far. A couple projects, still trying to get... For some reason, after I took the uh, magnetic levitator apart when I moved up here, I've reassembled it, and for some reason it's fluttering again, and I can't get it to go smooth. And I'm using all the same parts, all the same power supply and everything, but for some reason it's still fluttering, and I'm not sure why. Uh, but it's And it's driving me nuts, but I'm going to keep working on that. Once I get that fixed, I'm going to put a circuit together, solder everything in place, and make it permanent, and make it work permanently. So I can just kind of flip a switch and make it have fun with it. Um, this is one of those extra coolers for an Xbox 360 I found at the thrift store as well for two bucks. Uh, what else did I find? I found a lot of stuff at the thrift store. I found this which many of you may recognize is an APC or backup power supply. I found this at the thrift store as well. And it was six bucks. Uh, when I first powered it on, uh, it kept coming on saying the battery was bad. So I was like, I don't know if I want it. But I left it plugged in. I actually just left it. They had a plug-in table there. And I just left it plugged in and went and looked at some other stuff and came back. And I turned it on, just pushed the button again just because I was curious. And the battery wasn't bad anymore, or the battery bad battery light didn't come on, so I'm guessing the battery was just dead. And I've actually tried a few times. I've been running my PC off of that with my dual monitors and all my electronic equipment, and I will unplug it from the wall, and it powers all of it fairly well, actually. So it's, yeah, it works fine. Not bad for six bucks, right? Uh, yep, and then, last thing, paid 50 cents for this. It's, uh, temperature gauge and a humidity gauge. Not very spectacular, but, yep, so that's an update on the projects and, uh, the new, uh, station and stuff up here where I've moved to. Um, I'm trying to work on some of my projects and make videos for you guys in between, um, going to school. Uh, you can see... These books, I just, this book here and the one underneath that I just got from the library for fun to read, um, those are for my classes. Them, a couple of my classes I'm taking. My other books are in my backpack. So, and then I found a coin sorter and a pump as well at the, at the thrift store. So, uh, yep. So that's about everything I had to show you guys. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for update for more videos, more projects, and fun stuff like that. Uh, if you guys have any ideas you want to share with as far as like this thing goes or anything like that, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I always like to get idea suggestions for ideas on projects and stuff like that. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.